Buenos días amigos y amigas. Bienvenidos a RBC Internacional. Mi nombre es Mara Carranza de Amlovisión. Y hoy uh, yo vengo a ustedes porque me invitaron los uh, administradores de este canal y de el señor uh, Ricardo Belmont Casinelli, que es su fundador. Uh, hello everybody. My name is Mara Carranza and I am uh, working uh, with uh, RBC International and I am going to be translating the most relevant parts of the morning uh, conference from the Mexican president Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador and um, today the conference was regarding what's happening in Bolivia and uh, what Mexico was going to do regarding the asylum um, that was being requested okay so here we go So we'll start the video here. Ahora sí, ya terminamos con el tercer tema. So the president says, now we've ended with the third matter. Y viene la postura sobre eh, los sucesos de Bolivia. Y And so we're going to be going into uh, what um, our position is over what's happening in Bolivia la posición del gobierno eh, la va a dar a conocer and the position will be given to you our position will be given to you by um, a Marcelo Ebrard Marcelo Ebrard, secretario de relaciones exteriores so he's the secretary of foreign relations <coughs> con su permiso señor presidente muy buenos días a todas y a todos So he just said hello to everybody and thanks to Mr. President. Bueno, me referiría yo a los acontecimientos del día de ayer. En primer lugar, señalando. So he says I'm going to refer to what happened yesterday. First of all, signaling out. Que lo que ayer se produjo lo consideramos un golpe. And <clears throat> we're letting you know that we considered that to be a coup. ¿Por qué? And he said, why? Como ustedes saben, se dio a conocer un reporte de la Organización de Estados Americanos. As you know, there had been a report from the United States that was let, uh, was made known. En relación al reciente proceso electoral. Relating to the recent electoral par, uh, process. Después de ello, el presidente Evo Morales propuso que se realizaran nuevas elecciones. And after that, the president, uh, Evo Morales, uh, re requested that there be new um, elections. Cost Excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put that back on. And that is something that Mexico looked up, uh, upon very favorably. Me, sorry. As I suppose uh, also would be the majority of public opinion. A fin de resolver por vía de unas elecciones los diferentes. To an end, to bring to an end uh, the referendums. Existentes. Posterior a ello, el ejército de Bolivia. But after that, The military army of Bolivia Pidió la renuncia del presidente. asked for the uh, president to renounce his post. Y el presidente Evo Morales And the president Evo Morales resolvió presentar su renuncia. decided or resolved to present his renouncement of his position. Para evitar una guerra civil. In order to prevent a civil war. Por consiguiente, es un golpe. But because of that, it is considered a coup. Porque el ejército pidió la renuncia del presidente. Because it was the military that demanded 
or ask for the president to uh, be removed from his office or to give up his seat. Y eso violenta el orden constitucional en ese país. And that violates the constitutional order of that country. Esos son los hechos. These are the acts that have occurred so far. Habría que decir que en consecuencia So one would have to say that as a consequence la postura que México ha definido y de The, po the position that Mexico has defined fin del día de hoy, finally at the end of today is de reivindicar demandar to, el re to revindicate and demand respeto al orden constitucional that the constitutional order be respected y a la democracia en Bolivia. and democracy in Bolivia. Esa es la posición que México quiere hacer valer. And that is the position that Mexico wants to make uh, worthwhile or um, active. Por supuesto que haremos valer el derecho de asilo. But of course we are going to honor the, his right to asylum. Que México siempre no solo lo ha promovido. Because Mexico has not, not only always promoted this, sino lo ha ejercido. But also it has exercised it. En las muy diferentes circunstancias históricas. Under very many different circumstances historically. Que caracterizan a nuestra política exterior. That uh, characterize our foreign uh, politics. Vamos a solicitar en consecuencia también reunión urgente de la Organización de Estados Americanos. But we're also going to solicit a meeting and reunion with the United States uh, organization. Porque a pesar de la gravedad de los acontecimientos, lo que... Because despite of the gravity of the things that have occurred... Hubo ayer frente al pronunciamiento militar. That occurred yesterday after the pronouncement of the military y las operaciones policiales, and the police operations fue el silencio. their response was silence y el primer y esencial artículo que fundó la Organización de Estados Americanos and what the most important uh, Uh, and first order that was founded by the uh, Americans, uh, United States, uh, for this organization was es la de las y la the defense of uh, liberties and democracy. democracy. So how then can they keep silent when we're faced with these acontecimientos de esta gravedad? Uh, activities of this gravity. Por consecuentemente, vamos a demandar hoy, proponer. So consequently, today we are going to demand que haya una reunión urgente de hoy. and propose that there be a um, urgent meeting with the uh, organization of the United States para pronunciarse sobre ello so that they can pronounce themselves over this situation. Y para ejercer lo que la carta de la organización and to exercise what the letter of that organization señal. signals out. In other words, what they have said was their, uh, what's the word for that? Like their main thing that they do. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think when we used to say this in work, at work uh, it's like the, the main core of the, uh, of the organization so they're supposed to be defending human rights and um, democracy Proteger las libertades and to protect liberties y la democracia en los países miembros. in To, to protect democracy and liberties in its member countries. 
respecto a la relación con Bolivia. So in regards to the relations with Bolivia, pues estaremos muy pendientes de los acontecimientos el día de hoy y de And we will be observing what is going to be happening as of today. ¿Qué tipo de gobierno se configura? As to what type of government is going to configure itself. Porque como ustedes saben, se dieron no solo la renuncia del presidente. Because as you know, they did not only uh, cause the president to resign. Presidente, sino del vicepresidente. But also the vice president. De ministros, de their uh, ministers, senadoras y senadores, senators, male and female, y también de diputados y diputadas, and also the deputies. Entonces, no existe una previsión constitucional. So there is not a provision constitutionally written. Hasta donde llega nuestro conocimiento. Uh, or at least that we know of. Para el caso de que el ejército exija la, denuncia, la renuncia del presidente en turno. In which a uh, military can uh, demand a president to um, leave his office. Es decir, se entró en un terreno no previsto en la constitución de Inés. So that means we entered into a territory that had not been foreseen by the constitution. Derrupción del orden constitucional. México, por supuesto as to what would be constitutional and not constitutional. So Mexico... No vería con buenos ojos ningún tipo de gobierno que... So Mexico could not be in agreement with any type of government... Que no emane de un proceso electoral legítimo. That does not uh, come forth from a political um, uh, electoral uh, process that is legitimate. Es la postura de México. And this is the position that Mexico takes. Y además agregaría yo que estamos muy atentos porque tenemos 10.000 con... And also I want to add that we are being very attentive, attentive because we have 10,000 uh, people that uh, reside and are co-citizens um, in, uh, co in uh, Bolivia nacionales que viven en Bolivia y la instrucción que tiene nuestra embajada y el consulado que tenemos and so the instruction of our embassy and our consulate is es actuar diligentemente para protegerles is to act diligently in order to protect them frente a cualquier situación de emergencia que puedan confrontar when we come across any situation which they might confront, which could injure them. Sea hoy o los próximos días. Whether it be now or, or within the next few days. Esta es la postura de México. So this is the position Mexico is taking. Y es la que daremos a conocer hoy también en la Organización de Estados Americanos. And that is what we are going to say today at the meeting with the Organization of the United States. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Okay. So um, I'm only going to make it uh, this uh, brief here, um, but I do want to let you know that um, there was a second uh, video that came out later in the day where uh, they, in fact, uh, uh, found, let me see, it's going to open up right now. Um, Buenas tardes, gracias. Okay, so um, uh, the concierge, um, Abrat, um, the foreign affairs, <laughs> you know, uh, secretary, uh, is going to be talking about uh, what, um, um, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't mean to have all that on there. Um, but anyway, so he's going to be discussing uh, the um, Evo Mor Morales uh, soliciting uh, political assignment, uh, uh, asylum, I'm sorry, in, the, in Mexico. So here goes. Por acompañarnos a todas y a todos ustedes. Procedo a comunicarles lo siguiente. So I'm proceeding to communicate with you the following. Latinoamérica ha sido testigo en su historia de lamentables. So Latin America has been 
um, um, seeing these things in its history. Y violentos acontecimientos en los que el orden constitucional. So they ha there have been some uh, violent uh, happenings in which constitutional order has been broken. Excuse me. Y autoridades democráticamente electas and authorities that had democratically been ele elected se ven obligadas a abandonar todo para proteger su vida y su ser. Are forced to abandon everything to protect their life. Seguridad. And for security. En numerosas ocasiones. In numerous. La iniciativa. In numerous occasions, the initiative. O con la participación de las fuerzas armadas. Or with the participation of uh, armed forces. Que tienen como encomienda principal proteger precisamente. That are supposed to be commended as their principal duty to protect. El orden democrático. The democratic order. El derecho internacional reconoce que un individuo puede solicitar a un. The international uh, order recognizes that an in individual could solicit. Estado del que no es nacional. From a state of whom he is not a national Como consecuencia de situaciones que surjan, as a consequence of situations which may surge en aquel estado de su nacionalidad, in that state of his nationality el reconocimiento como asilado, and be recognized as uh, being having asylum. México se ha caracterizado por su tradición en materia de protección a las... Mexico has characterized itself by its protection asilados of a, a people uh, with asylum a lo largo de su historia on its long history se ha mostrado como un estado incluyente y solidario it has demonstrated itself to be an inclusive and solidarity uh, uh, state cuyas puertas han estado abiertas para quienes han whose doors have remained open for those whom han tenido la necesidad de abandonar sus países have had the need or necessity to abandon their countries por persecución política uh, due to a political part, uh, persecution y otras causas and other causes Dos ordenamientos en el marco jurídico internacional. Two orders in the uh, international uh, judicial order. Sustentan el otorgamiento de asilo. Uh, substantiate the uh, um, giving of the asylum. La convención sobre el asilo de La Habana de 1920. The uh, convention of the asylum of Havana, 1928. It sounds like he said 18. La Convención sobre Asilo Diplomático. And also the Convention of Asylum, a uh, Diplomatic Asylum. Firmada en Caracas en 1950. That was signed in Caracas, Venezuela in 1954. La legislación mexicana también. And Mexican legislation also. Reconoce el otorgamiento del asilo político. En su uh, believes and recognizes the uh, uh, granting of uh, asylum, political asylum. Ley sobre refugiados. For people that are uh, asking for refuge. Protección complementaria. Yes. With a complementary protection. Asilo político de 2011. A, a, a political asylum of 2011. Les informo que hace unos momentos recibí una llamada del I inform you that a few moments ago I received a call from Presidente Evo Morales The President of Bolivia, Evo Morales Mediante la cual respondió a nuestra invitación y Through which he responded to our invitation Solicitó verbal y formalmente así 
where he solicited verbal, verb, <laughs> verbally and formally a political asylum in our country. En términos de la legislación vigente, and uh, due to the terms of the current law, la Cancillería Mexicana, previa opinión de la Secretaría de Gobernación, so the Secretary uh, Concierge will ask for the Secretary of Government, en voz de la Ministra Olga Sánchez Cordero, who's now uh, in, uh, under the care of uh, uh, Olga Cordero, ha decidido concederle asilo político al señor Evo Morales. And they have decided to grant political asylum to the president Evo Morales. Por razones humanitarias. For humanitarian reasons. Y en virtud de la situación de urgencia que es. And due to the virtue of the emergency situation. Se enfrenta en Bolivia. Which is being uh, confronted in Bolivia en donde su vida y su where his life and his integrity are at risk en ese sentido, estoy procediendo, procediendo a and due to that procedure I am uh, continuing to proceed with this uh, this formally de la República, el desarrollo de estos hechos de relevancia and the development of these acts of relevance Para nuestra política exterior, for our foreign politics solicitando su respaldo a esta decisión, that are soliciting their backing of our backing of this resolution. Asimismo, procederemos de inmediato a and in the same way, we will proceed immediately informar al Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores de Bolivia and we will also notify the ministers of Bolivia cosa que ya hicimos something which we have actually already done para que bajo el derecho internacional so that through the international uh, groups proceda a otorgar el correspondiente salvo conducto y la seguridad they will uh, uh, make sure that they get safe conduct and protection es así como garantías de que la vida integridad personal for the life and personal integrity y libertad del señor Morales and liberty of Mr. Morales no serán puestas en peligro they should not be put in danger y que podrá ponerse en seguridad and that he should be placed in security Cabe recordar que el primer ordenamiento en materia de asilo data de 1853. So the first time they uh, did give a political asylum was in 1953. Cuando México y Colombia sus When Mexico and Colombia escribieron un tratado de no extradición. Where they, uh, Mexico and Colombia signed a document of no extradition. Por delitos políticos. When it came to political crimes. Nuestra tradición ha sido siempre por la protección de los perseguidos políticos. Our position has always been for the protection of those that were persecuted politically. La tradición a la que me refiero también. The tradition to which I refer. Tiene como base el artículo 15 de nuestra. Has as its, uh, also has as its base article 15. Nuestra constitución. Of our constitution. Mm. Basta recordar que México ha sido tierra de asilo. And you just must remember that Mexico has been a land of asylum. A personajes como Giuseppe. To people like Giuseppe. Garibaldi. Garibaldi. José Martí. José Martí. O Víctor Raúl Ayala de la Torre. And uh, Víctor Raúl Ayala de la Torre. El otorgamiento de asilo es un derecho soberano del Estado mexicano. The um, granting of asylum is a right of a sovereign mexicano uh, Mexican que va acorde con sus principios normativos that goes according to its normal uh, principles 
en política exterior. When it relates to um, in a foreign politics. Para proteger los derechos humanos. To protect human rights. Y respetar la autodeterminación de los pueblos. And to respect self-determination of the people. La solución pacífica de las controversias. The um, uh, p peaceful solution to uh, problems. Y la no intervención. And to not intervene or non-intervention. Esta decisión la hemos hecho ya en el conocimiento de la Organización de Estados Americanos. And now this decision we've made with the recognition of the United States uh, organization. Lo haremos de la Organización de las Naciones Unidas. And we will do it in the Organization of United Nations. Invocando de acuerdo al... Evoking according to... Los tratados y convenciones internacionales. Of treaties and international conventions. La protección internacional. The international protection a la vida, la libertad, to liberty, life, y la integridad de, and integrity Evo Morales. of Evo Morales. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. And that is where we're going to end uh, this video. Thank you very much for watching uh, this channel. Um, this is RBC International. I am uh, Mara Carranza of AMLO Vision, and um, I am uh, working with Ricardo Belmont Casanelli. And I am going to share with you uh, just a couple of uh, little bits of information here. Uh, the book Pastillas para Levantar el Moral, Moral. and this is a book with, which gives you little bits and pieces kind of like uh, proverbs uh, to, to uh, lift your morale and then the other one is the 11 days let me see where's that one at okay here it is so I'm going to take this one off Los Once Días del Peru which is the 11 days of Peru and I believe um, he is an excellent writer, a uh, book worth reading, both of these. <laughs> and you can get them on Amazon, as you can see. They're not very expensive. So please look into this. And uh, please like and subscribe, both uh, RBC International and AMLO Vision. This is Mara Carranza signing off. And I hope to see you here soon. And I hope this was uh, easy to understand for you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.